Can you tell me maybe in about four or five sentences about your diet history? History starting from childhood? Yeah. Um, I had a, uh, let's say a challenging childhood. And through uh, being adopted and put in an orphanage and then mm -hmm. adoption, um, and then living with a family that was really expecting me to earn my keep, mm -hmm. I found myself hungry a lot and in really even having to steal yeah. to get wow. food. So it was quite a precious commodity. Yeah. But one period of time I discovered, I, I realized for myself that I wasn't hungry. Mm -hmm. So I decided to stop eating. Mm -hmm. I felt myself not very disciplined about the whole thing, you know. Right. And shame on me. So I just, oh, I'm going to stop eating until I'm hungry again. I went 15 days without food. Wow. With just That's one. really something. And tea and I still wasn't hungry but uh but you, you spirit, lost weight oh yeah I lost 25 pounds and then you put it back on oh not right away uh, but yes yeah you know, came back and more Anna has brought up two really intriguing periods of her life one was when she was younger and she had such a traumatic childhood and actually had to steal food and then here's another time when she actually fasted or at least probably partially fasted for a period of time so these are intriguing and I might be tempted to go into these right now but my overall goal is to get a broad picture of what's going on right now with Anne so I can teach her the skills that I think she needs to start using today in ongoing treatment, I might or might not circle back to those things. I'd have to figure out whether I thought that they were important and would impede her being able to make changes in the here and now.